Oh my my. Okay. Hello YouTube. It's Sunday. We are resting and we are discovering things. We are opening our eyes to what is right in front of us. As you know, True Love and I love books. We love books. It runs in the family. You, as you know, I love books and I love the New York Yankees. <laughs> I usually am allowed to order three or four, maybe five books every Christmas. Yeah, Christmas is coming up, so I was just thinking, okay, what is gonna be my Yankee book for 2018 that I read? Well, <laughs> one, Chasing the Dream by about Joe Torre. Two, Yogi Berra. Three, The Phil Rizzuto Story. Four, Yogi Berra again. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, I think I'm, I think I read this book. I did read this book. I have at least eight books about the New York Yankees that I have not read yet. No, I do not need to order any more Yankee books. We have so many books. We have books hidden behind books. Does anybody else out there struggle with this? Damien? Damien? Anyone? Anyone? We have books inside books. Okay. Love you all. In conclusion, open your eyes to what you have right in front of you. You never know what you might find. He's getting American. Oh, man. Everyone in the house is a little sick. Oh, so. But at least the sun came out. The sun still rises. Joseph, Seth, Mama, everyone is just a little under the weather. I came outside because it's a little hard to watch the Broncos right now. They're struggling. They're three and six on the season. This is my eighth day off from running. Not too shabby. Eight days in a row. My legs are feeling awesome. They really are, you know. They feel, still feel strong though, so I don't feel like I've lost much in eight days. And um, I'm gonna start running again tomorrow, one mile. So I'm getting, I'm definitely, definitely getting a little antsy. You know what I mean? So my running stuff set up. And if you're a runner out there and you're, you know, you're thinking about your training schedules, I, I would really stress taking more than like two or three days off in between your races, like in between your training blocks, basically. If you want a long, if you want a long running career, it just it doesn't hurt to just take a good week off, um, at least a week. You, your body just really needs it. So that's what I did the last week, and um, just getting my sunglasses out, my jacket. So it all starts tomorrow morning, bright and early. Maybe regretting this in two hours. I don't know. I don't know. First time ever. <laughs> Should I do something? Are you waiting for me to look? Look, look around. <gasps> no! Might be a little bit of a risk. That's right, you are. A little bit of a risk taker here, but I'm going for I'm it. I'm proud of you guys. Bunk beds, Sharon. This is the whole situation. I'm gonna back up so you can see the whole situation here. Yeah, because you're the oldest, you're on the top. And Sandy Boy, you're in your little floor. And then you did you get this in the lobby? When our baby comes, he can sleep in the lobby. <laughs> when the baby comes, he can sleep in the lobby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. First time. Don't need those anymore. Fine. You want me to spend the night in here? <laughs> He's shaking his head yes. Oh. He's shaking his head yes, Joseph. I oh, that was precious. All right. Here we go. Closing the doors. Sleep with the angels. Rise with the saints. Say good night, good night, construction. Good night, good night, construction site. Proud of you, brothers. Okay, that's 